All right, so this terribleness, and we'll talk about ways that we end up in this position, but uh, I'm crunching his head in with my chest. I've got my Kimura grip. Now one thing about this grip, some people debate like thumb, no thumb. Um, kind of depends on the size of your hand, the size of their wrist, but we're gonna go no thumb for now on the grip. The other big thing is that my knuckles aren't pointed up towards the sky. He can punch out of this pretty easily if they're there. I need to be punching my knuckles down towards the mat and now it's harder for him to move his arm around. My other hand is over the top and again it's not my fingers on that far bone, it's the top of my knuckles. And now we're going to use his forearm as a lever depending on which direction he tries to escape from here. So if Russell comes towards me, I push the forearm across his own body and now it's very hard for him to continue that motion coming towards me. If he tries to run away from me, I seal the forearm to my chest and now it's really hard for him to continue going that direction. So we have to be feeling which way he's going and punch one direction or the other. If he tries to go up and over the top of me by bridging, I need to start hip scooting away. So as he bridges, I just scoot and he falls into that hole and falls into that hole. So there's a lot of good options from here. I can come up and finish the Kimura from here. Um, if for some reason he starts getting away from me, uh, rolling towards his knees, either direction I suppose, I can follow him, put a hook in, and pull him back with that hook the other direction. Go no, here. Now I have a Kimura with a hook. Um, if, if he runs the other way, I can just flip up and have a sit on the head Kimura, right? So how do we end up in this position in the first place? Well, we can choose it on purpose. I like to roll in Kimura if you worry about this, at least since I'm tall. <laughs> um, so a lot of times they're looking for some kind of attachment and I can grab a wrist here. Uh, when I grab a wrist here, so there's just a bunch of different ways to do this. Some people take a big jump. I tend to take a big jump from the outside. But we can also hit it like a knee slice and thread our arm through on the way through. So I'm gonna come in, drive my knee to the mat, and pull. Now, as soon as I hit the ground, I can walk my hips behind his head and we're in that T position. Um, the other thing is if I hit the ground here and he starts to go to his knees, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna come in and just get behind him and start putting my hook in. I could take the back or I can get up on my head and come all the way through to this arm bar. 